Hello guys and welcome back to Bit Truth with your host Mark Luther. In today's video we're doing another cryptocurrency mining video and today we are going to compare between the 1080, 1080 Ti and the RTX 2080. Now what to mine has added two new cards, the 2080 Ti, the 2080. Now the 2080 is able to actually start calculating but the 2080 Ti to be added so we have to wait on that. Without further ado, let's start with the video. So firstly, the 1080, if we calculate how much it's making, it's about 0 0.91 cents, 90 cents. The best deal I found on Amazon is 469. Now I have these cards. Okay, I have two of them, fun fact, in my mining rig. So I am mining on both of these and I have already ROI'd. So uh, that's just a bit of a disclaimer here. Another thing I didn't actually talk about is actually we didn't calculate the shipping fees the electricity fees in different countries so we calculated based on the national you know you know average of the United States so now if we go on the calculator we have 997 days to ROI with the 1080 so it's much much you know less than the 1080 Ti and the 2080 Okay, if we go on the 1080 Ti and we press calculate, we have $1.14 on the X16R on Ravencoin since it has been really profitable since it's, you know, adding on Binance. Now you have two deals here. You have the $699 or you have the inflated price of $779. Now I calculated the $779 worst case scenario. And you have about $1,299. Now, what if we calculate based on the NVIDIA price of selling? So, 699 Now, there have been some constructive criticism in the last video that I have chosen this one. Okay, as to calculate for the ROI, not this one. So, I'm really sorry for that. Anyways, if we calculate, okay, about the what? 0 0.60 okay I need to be precise because this is some serious information that's about 1165 days still not bad but compared to the 1080 that's another thing here we have the RTX 2080 now the 2080 Ti I tried to find some results not much circulating maybe it's not still released I'm not sure if anyone has a 2080 Ti yet okay maybe someone has it but a lot of videos on the 2080 some of them have been in September last of September so I cannot really confirm how much they make per day because I don't I don't look only on the price okay, if you're mining on nice hash 70 cents a day market might change you might mine 60 cents a day but the quantity doesn't change at least based on difficulty so we have here 66 cents Okay, $1.180, $18, that's for electricity. You will be still with 66 cents. Now, college students are still making a profit in this market. I mean, if they're not paying electricity, they are living in the heavens of cryptocurrency world. Anyways, they are priced at $7.99, free shipping. Okay and limit two per customer now you can get two of these now some people have been selling them like brandon coin he has a youtube channel you can watch okay about the 2080s he sold his maybe for different reasons but anyways you have the 7.99 now the price uh since that's your it keeps changing so equals it's about 1192 it's nearly really pairing with the 1080 ti still the 1080 ti is beating the 2080 so firstly the 1080 1080 ti and then the 2080 so to be honest is it really worth to start mining cryptocurrency in 2018 depending on how much you're educated in this market of course i'm not a financial advisor but what i know about these you know mining k calculators and all these that they don't calculate the shipping fees and they don't calculate that so you have to calculate on yourself but another thing is that there are people who are smart enough to make money in this cryptocurrency world even with mining because they combine different you know knowledge okay of different fields in cryptocurrency to create you know their cryptocurrency portfolio for example i'm mining cryptocurrency and then trade that cryptocurrency you see i'm making t two sources of income here in cryptocurrencies okay or in bitcoin so you take what you mine 
you trade it of course that's my strategy maybe yours is different i trade it then take some profits put in proof of stake coins here you have for example proof of stake so they will start increasing now of course proof of stake is not always you know easy and you will not always make money with it but still you'll make money on the side so you have to really just make your own strategy okay i know some people they just mine cryptocurrency they don't do anything else which is not wrong but of course you have to calculate different factors and different things you always need to have plan b c d e or even fgu who knows because at the end of the day this cryptocurrency market keeps changing i mean just yesterday we we were in you know a bloodbath and we didn't really have you know any possibility of any bull run coming because a lot of people were just depressed to the you know to the extent that they just sold all their cryptocurrencies some people exited this market because they don't have the knowledge to take you know their profits from cryptocurrency mining and then you know make it working for them for example you have this guy who talked about this genesis mining thing that is happening around Okay, I'm not sure how much I'm updated to the Genesis mining and the cloud mining situation in the cryptocurrency world. But what I know is that after he talked, is that they stopped paying out. All you're doing is paying out the maintenance fee. So, these people, okay, that keep just mining, they are going to lose. Now, other arguments are, we are mining for the future. Okay, mine for the future. Also, I'm mining for the future. I don't have any problem to mine for the future but also mine smartly be smart about it don't just talk that i'm doing something great because this greatness might not be that as profitable to you okay you might do both things okay that, like you don't lose anything what will you lose if you will do different things in cryptocurrency of course i'm not a financial advisor but it is also your responsibility for actually making more research on these topics for example, you have the bounty programs, you have faucets, you have trading, you have proof of stake coins. You have different things in the cryptocurrency world. Mining is not the only thing. You know, I know people that have, you know, three, five, ten cryptocurrency mining rigs okay, filled with RX 580s, 8 gigs, and you have different cards. But all they do is transfer all the funds to Coinbase and then transfer it to you know to us dollar which is what i believe wrong you should hold your cryptocurrency and at the same time do different things with it of course every person has his own you know his own situation every person has his own thing so thank you guys for watching this video about the comparison between these three cards and thank you guys for all the constructive criticism okay in the comments down below because I respect comments which are constructive criticism even if they have the element of hate in it but at least they deliver a message which I really like so don't think that your comment is going to get deleted just because you sent constructive criticism so thank you guys for watching this video from bit truth with your host Mark Luther and see you guys on the next cryptocurrency mining video